time for Life Love Shopping. If you live it, love it, or buy it, we talk about it on LLS. First up, have you ever heard of main character syndrome? It's when someone shows up as a guest at a big event and steals the show. A recent thread on Reddit called Wedding Shaming is calling out this guest for her barely there attire. Many who were at the beachside ceremony thought the guest took all the attention away from the bride. Some said at first glance they thought she was nude with just a few flowers strategically placed. While others say although the makeup artist didn't break the conventional rules of wearing white or cream to a wedding, she did become the main focus of the event. Many brides require attendees to follow a strict dress code for their big event so a guest doesn't end up drawing all the attention. One guy is storing up the dating haters by saying that men should be the ones who pay for all the dates, married or not. He's known as the tough love coach. His real name is Jake Maddock and he says if women pick up the check, they're making a big mistake. I'm taking my wife on a date tonight and this is how it works. Yesterday I said, hey honey, do you want to go on a date with me tomorrow? She said she'd love to. So I asked her, I planned it and I'm going to execute it and I'm going to pay for it every time. I've taken my wife on thousands of dates by now, but I always plan it, execute it, ask her, pay for it. I do it all. I do all of it. Why? It's called chivalry. It's called masculine. It's, called, it's because I have honor and integrity in who I am and masculine feminine energy to do it properly, okay? Relationships aren't about equality. They're about love and happiness. A lot of you guys have it mixed up with the masculine feminine energy. It's not about equality. It's about love and happiness. Do it right. The man should pay for the date. Do it the correct way. Don't share it. Okay, if you love roller coasters, you're going to love this one. The final touches are being added to Britain's new Hyperia Coaster. It will be Britain's tallest and fastest when it opens this spring. Take a look. So today is a real momentous occasion. We are actually putting in the final piece of Hyperia's track, which is the very, very top at 236 feet. It's an important milestone. We're putting that kind of final piece in at the top of that, that lift the crowning glory. For myself, who actually was one of the designers designing this ride, it's incredible to see it go from what was on a piece of paper and on a computer screen, actually now a reality. Oh my goodness, that makes my stomach turn just thinking about it. Um, have you seen the next new IT bag? It's from French designer Caperni, and there's a NASA connection. The video posted to Instagram shows off a translucent oval in the shape of a small handbag, and to some it seems to show smoke trapped inside. The designer describes it as being made of 99% pure nothing and 1% glass. The air swipe bag is made from a NASA aerogel. Engineer say this space age material can be used to capture stardust or even help pad equipment like the Mars rover. However, it's now gracing the runways of Paris and Milan. The bag weighs about 33 grams, slightly more than about five sheets of paper. And despite it looking so small and delicate, the designer says it can hold an iPhone. Not sure about that, but maybe. And the magic number could be 10,000 when it comes to your health and a cushy desk job. In Western countries like the U.S. and the U.K., workers spend an average of nine hours behind a desk each day. And experts agree that a sedentary lifestyle raises your chances for an early death. However, if you can get in 10,000 steps each day, equal to about five miles, you could offset the risk by nearly 40 percent. Researchers also say even low activity levels could slash your chance for a stroke by 29 percent. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control revealed numbers in a 2018 study that indicated one in 10 Americans cause of death was a result of physical inactivity. For more information on any of these stories, just head to our website, llsshow.com. Once you're there, you can check out previous episodes and get more details on all of our life, love, shopping topics. And don't forget to follow us on social media at LLS Show. You'll find all those connections right there on the website, llsshow.com.